When it comes to treasure in Sea of Thieves, not all things are made equal. Naturally, some of them sell for a lot more coin than others, but believe it or not, there are pieces of loot that will actively try to sink your ship. In the case of the Chest of Sorrow, you can take that very literally, but a recent change made in Season 9 has put another item on top. Introducing the new and improved Reaper's Chest. What makes this item so dangerous? Well, as most of you probably know, Reaper's Chests and Reaper's Bounties for that matter will always be marked on the map, which made it dangerous to carry for sure, but you can reasonably assume that most most pirates are not going to have their eyes glued to the map to try and track your every move. What will allow them to track your every move is the fact that the giant beam in the sky that marks the darn thing no longer disappears when you pick it up. That means your ship will be about as visible as it gets to any and everyone around you, no matter what. Pair that with the fact that the Reaper's chest sells for doubloons, which have arguably become the most valuable resource in the game with this update, and the fact that there's a brand new commendation that rewards unique cosmetics for selling 30 of them, yeah, you can see why I consider them to be the new most dangerous chest in the game. And with my own stash of doubloons being minuscule at best, it is an item that I set my sights on collecting. Today's tale is one of great tribulations, my friends, for I would have to use every skill at my disposal to secure each and every Reaper's chest that will spawn on my server. Funnily enough, I didn't actually start my day with that goal in mind. Frankly speaking, I was kind of tired of the constant fighting, opting to travel on the humble rowboat in an attempt to stay under the radar. But little did I know how heavily protected this vessel was. Why is there's so many of you, Jesus Christ, man. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, yo. Ow, twice in a row, are you serious? Bro, what did I do? I don't know what I did to upset Zeus enough to smite me down repeatedly, but after minutes of hacking away at AI enemies whilst under fire from the heavens, I decided to retreat back onto my ship and wait until the storm passed. Once that was the case, I decided to head west in hopes of more inviting weather gracing my travels. And for the next little while, I decided to collect whatever pieces of treasure I could get my hands on. Somebody had left a gift at New Golden Sands, which was just as well because these things also sell for doubloons, assuming I can get it to Reaper's Hideout. When I arrived at Mermaid's Hideaway, I was blessed with a replacement robot a cannon variety. To defend myself, right? I need the cannon robot to defend myself? Um, nope, to shoot fireworks, because trust me when I say that, you're not gonna hit the broadside of a galleon with that thing. Anyway, only because I was limited in space didn't mean that I didn't want to feel cozy. I found some random plants that would brighten up my living space, and a few islands over, I'd also got my hands on a new companion to aid in my travels. As per the voices in my head, this chicken would henceforth be known as Kevin, and with him by my side, I felt audacious enough to go and collect a reaper's chest. I know I said that the whole reason I wanted to live on a rowboat was to stay under the radar, but because somebody on my server was currently stacking the fur- the fur- <laughs> Let's do this again. I know I said that the whole reason I wanted to live on a rowboat was to stay under the radar, but because somebody on my server was currently stacking the Fort of the Damned World event, I felt that other pirates would probably rather target that than a single Reaper's chest. And boy, was I wrong, because an aggressive brigand team was coming my way, and unfortunately, they were not here to talk. Greetings, gentlemen, we can talk about this. I'm just a man on a rowboat, all right? Listen, you can take the chest here, take it. Take the chest, it's in the water, just take it. I don't think you need me telling you that this was not enough to appease them. In true pirate fashion, these guys were determined to hunt me down. Knowing I had no choice but to go to Reaper's hideout, they strategically cut me off, and as I alluded to before, the cannon on my rowboat was not exactly helpful in my attempts of turning the tides. If it's a fight they wanted, it's a fight they shall get. Outnumbered and outgunned, I was valiantly standing my ground, because I wasn't just fighting for myself. Of course I wanted to hand in the chest, but if I end up dying here, lord knows what's gonna happen to Kevin. Alas, I inched my way forward with with every step being conquered on blood and iron. It was apparent that they began getting antsy when I closed the distance to the turn and spot, allowing me to catch them off guard. That brief mistake allowed me to secure the goods, but I wasn't safe. There was more treasure on my rowboat, but with me having turned in the most valuable piece of loot, their pride was undeniably damaged. These guys had no intention to let me live after I humiliated them like this, and as such, I had no choice but to respond in kind. I was really hoping that the damage I dealt to their brigantine would force them to retreat, but apparently they were still trying to secure my rowboat. And once all of my pineapples were consumed, I was the one who had to retreat. But no matter how I sliced it, this was a losing battle. I couldn't hide forever. I had run out of food, I had run out of cannonballs, and at the end, I had run out of options. That brigantine had conquered my rowboat, and with it, my loyal crewmate. But rest assured knowing that I would not sit idly until I had my revenge. 
Okay, things might not be looking great for me, but that does not mean that I would give up. Upon my return from the Ferry of the Damned, I had learned that not only was my sloop still afloat, but a new rowboat had spawned on the very island where I began my adventure. Of course, I immediately headed back to Reaper's hideout because there was one thing above all else that I had to find out. Hey, do you still have my chicken? No. Wait, did you take the rowboat? No, uh, the rowboat is yours. Hey, yo? But why did you kill me then? <laughs> Wait, what? You know, it's a pirate game. I, I'm, I'm trying to have fun, you know. That's a reasonable response, I didn't expect that. That definitely caught me off guard, but his logic was airtight. It is a pirate game, and in true pirate fashion, I shall get my revenge. I mean, it's one thing to take a man's treasure, but killing his chicken? That just kind of messed up. Thankfully for me, his brigantine crew had to fight another brigantine, namely the fellas that were stacking the Fort of the Damned. These guys did not seem to mind me much, even going out of their way to greet me, meaning there was potential for me to involve them in my plans for revenge. Once the chicken killers backed out of this fight, I decided to spare this new brigantine a visit, because hey, Hey, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? Hey, it's Robot Guy again. Is someone here? Hello, Robot, Robot, Robot. Hey, Hello. do you have yeah, use yeah. for another person? Dude, come on, man, what the hell? No. If you're gonna give us a Tino chest, yeah, sure. <laughs> And as such, my infiltration was successful. I didn't really care a bit about them wanting the Athena chest specifically. I mean, what is this, season one? Nobody cares about Athena chest now that the chest of fortune exists. Besides, I'd set my sights on other treasures. It was obvious that this other brigantine was after Reaper's chest as well, seeing as how they singled me out instead of fighting my new allies. If it's Reaper chest they wanted, then I would do anything in my power to deny them. And I told my new friends as much, seeing as how they were more interested in gold pieces and reputation than doubloons, they had no issue leaving this very dangerous cargo to me, but for now we had to work on completing this event. But things weren't exactly going as expected, one of them had jumped into my sword dash trajectory causing me to slice him up by accident, and since I didn't have a ship that I could use to join an alliance, there was no way for me to resurrect him. While he didn't take it personally, I was still about to pay for that because one of these skeletons decided to not honor the length of that gunpowder fuse. Yeah, I was definitely not happy about that. Needless to say that gunpowder cake skeletons are not supposed to work like that, causing me to curse the name of Rare to the heavens. But little did I know at the time that this bug sending me back would actually help me out later. For now, I had to handle more inconveniences on my way back to the FOTD. And because a skeleton ship alone was not annoying enough, Rare decided to also send a Megalodon. Great update, by the way. For the time being, my alliance left me alone to complete the fort whilst they were fighting the other brigantine, and in a stroke of pure luck, one of them had returned to check on me just as I had defeated the final boss. I was instructed to take a Stronghold Gunpowder Keg, aka the Nuke, to use against our enemies. But said enemies were evidently expecting that play because they made sure not to get too close until they were certain we are dead. I decided to strategically place Gunpowder Kegs around the fort so that whatever direction I decide to come from, I would be able to respond. Which was definitely the right choice because not too much later, my commanding officer found himself blown up by the enemy. And our alliance was compromised. Yeah, both of us were fumbling to try and create this alliance on the enemy was already approaching, leading to both of us leaving the Offer Alliance flag up by accident, which our adversaries used to get in on us. But to me, nothing short of complete victory was an option. If they wanted these Reaper's chests, then they would have to rip them from my cold, dead hands. And I would not be satisfied until I did to them what they did to Kevin. When they came back for another go-around, I figured this would be my chance to blow them up. Meaning now, it was all or nothing. Just stop, please, for a moment. Wait. Move! God! It's not registering. I swear I'm clicking. I'm actually losing my mind over this, bro. If I had an impeccable juggle right now, I could actually make it. But unfortunately, I didn't. It would have definitely been poetic to be able to use a rowboat in order to get my revenge, but alas, it appears as though Rare was not a big fan of poetry. You see, on the long list of very annoying bugs in Sea of Thieves, there's one where if you don't look at your hands whilst rowing, sometimes the game will simply not register the input. Honestly, I always thought it was just a skill issue, but ever since I found out I'm not the only one this happens to, yeah, full on copium. This bug had cost my allies their ship, but thankfully we still had my sloop. My fellow alliance members made it their job to shove as many kegs onto the enemy vessel as possible while I was giving them hell. My cannon shots were fueled by anger, though I could not let this rage blind me because that one firebomb that hit me could easily ignite the final stronghold keg that still resided on my vessel. It's as I like to say, the best place for a keg is and always will be on the enemy ship. Though unfortunately my delivery was intercepted and arms reach away from their hull. Many pirates had lost their lives in this encounter, but because they had infiltrated Traded our alliance, I was not sure who was friend or foe. The only way for me to find out if this was enough was by seeing it with my own eyes. 
I think they're sunk. Let's go. Okay, now for me to pick up my friends. In a dramatic turn of events, I was left as the last man standing, but the fight was not won until I handed in my chests. So I prioritized igniting every single keg on the fortress to make sure they could not be used against me. After which I secured the loot, or at least the pieces I cared about. Listen, I had not lost a reaper's chest to these guys yet, and I definitely was not about to start. Getting revenge for Kevin was great, but it would mean nothing if I end up forfeiting the treasure, which was still a possibility because these guys were holding down Reaper's hideout with my own alliance members still being a ways away. This fight was far from over, so I started to try and come up with a new plan. For starters, we had to disband the alliance and form a new one because I'll be damned if I let these guys get 50% of my doubloons. It was a matter of principle. With my alliance reunited, I decided to do what every good pirate would and use them as bait. Sure, the Reaper's bounty also contributes towards the commendation for the new cosmetics, but since they sold for gold pieces instead of doubloons, they were definitely of no interest to me. Additionally, letting my brigantine have these items would make them a juicy decoy that I could use to slip away. But it seemed like our enemies got tired of waiting, abandoning their post to come fight us directly, which is when I realized that it was not them who were holding down Reaper's hideout, but an unknown third party. And with the hideout being the only place on the whole map where I could turn these chests in, it was checkmate. Is what I would say if I was a bozo. Do you guys not know me at all? Of course I'd already come up with a solution. Using the storm as cover to mask the beacons, I decided to hide the Reaper's chest on an unmarked island. After which I sailed by the FOTD just close enough for them to see the glittering loot on my bow. I baited them to follow me to Reaper's hideout while I was pretending to try and sell the treasure that I stole from their sunken vessel, when in actuality I was hiding the treasure map that contained the location of my chests. After they sunk my vessel and sent me to the ferry, they thought themselves victorious, when the truth was that the most valuable piece of loot was still safely stashed away. While they were fighting the third party at Reaper's hideout, I took my newly spawned vessel to lay claim to another brand new Reaper's chest, which I had also promptly hidden before enjoying the sunset in anticipation of my grand victory. And as soon as the winner of that battle was decided, I went to pick up my treasure to then sell not one, not two, but another three Reaper's chests. I had avenged my chicken, secured the loot, and came away with my pouch of doubloons now being heavier than it started. And with that, we can close the book on yet another chapter in my book of tales. But if it's more tales you're looking for, make sure to check out my last episode in which I secured the brand new chest of fortune in a similar fashion big brain heist. You can find the card on screen right now. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys have a day filled with the riches on the sea. And until next time, peace.